everyone, welcome to our theme of the month, which is gearing up for 2020. Um, as you've probably been seeing out there, there's been loads of articles coming out around digital trends and marketing trends for 2020. And so what we decided to do this month, just to be a little bit different, is to go back to basics. Um, our article was set around looking at how you could sort of get those final things done through, 20, through 2019, which included maybe clearing out your inbox uh, with those you know, thousand emails that have still been sitting there, or maybe to get the tracking in place for your website, read that book that you said that you were going to read, um, and feel that sense of accomplishment uh, over 2019. However, we thought we would actually bring it back to marketing, and again, going back to the basics and helping to identify your core customer. Now, this is something that an exercise that you've most likely done in your business. However, I think the one thing that people don't do is actually review it and try it out again because your core customer can essentially change. So what we want to look at is um, how to identify that core customer in a very sort of easy way. So a little uh, something that I learned last week, which really, really helped me, was to go and write down five of my customers that I just absolutely love working with and then write down why I enjoy working with them. So for example, I wrote down a customer of mine, his name's Chris, he's a business owner, and why I enjoy working with Chris is he just measures things really, really well. Um, he takes a lot of interest in what we do, but at the same time identifies that we are his sort of wise counsel and trust what we're doing, we're the experts in our field. And I went through this and we identified um, five customers. And then what we did was we looked at what were the trends that came through and the characteristics of these five customers. Um, at the end of the day for us, it was the fact that generally they were business owners. Um, however, most of them had an assistant that, were, that helped them, whether that was a marketing manager or a PA that really helped the day-to-day -day execution because as I know, business owners aren't always the best at executing. Um, we looked at other characteristics such as the fact that they really like, want to level up their businesses. We, they're not looking for someone to rescue the business, they're more just want, looking to take it to the next level. Um, we looked at other attributes which included the fact they pay well. So these are all important things to us and from that we've been able to identify exactly who we want to talk to as well as now we can take it to the next stage of putting that marketing strategy on how we can attract more of these core customers to our business. So I hope our example really helped you guys and I really highly recommend doing this before 2020 is upon you and so you can make sure that you start in January and not in March with your marketing and lose out on those uh, additional months. Uh, we do need 12 months to essentially make success of our business. So good luck and if you guys need any assistance, you know who to call. Cheers, bye.